friends, it's Tony and Luke, and today we are almost to, we are at the Doubletree of Universal Studios because we're going to Trades of Hope Inspire 2022. It's the first time in two years that they've had an in-person event, and we've been going, I've been a partner with Trades of Hope for almost five years now, and I went to my first one in Nashville in 2017, and we've gone in Orlando ever since. Luke has gone too, to Bros of Hope. So now we are about to pull in. We're going to the morning registration. It technically started last night, but I'm able to do late registration. We didn't really miss much. And yeah, so my session starts in like 30 minutes and Luke has a session with Bros of Hope at 10 and maybe I can convince him to take some vlog footage while he's at his thing. I don't know if he will, but yeah, so I'm gonna take you along and show you what this experience is like. It's a beautiful, gloomy day in Orlando. It's pretty much the coldest it's been in Orlando in a long, long time. I'm pretty sure this weekend we're supposed to get record lows in like the 20s. So yeah, it's gonna feel like 20s. Look how nice he looks with his Trains of Hope leather bag. I see. Where is it? <laughs> we're trying to figure out where we're going. Where the heck are we? What's happening? Hey, I made it! Okay, we got our tags. Here's Luke. I got mine and they gave me my pins. I told them I lost my pins. And now I have them restocked and I'm so excited. My, our schedule, my first session is nine o'clock. Yay! It's so different here this year. Everyone's getting ready to go in. We're gonna draw a number. We have three beautiful stars up here to give out today. Number 18. That's what I want. Come on, I want big reaction. Number 18, are you here? Are you in the room? Run up. We are women who know what we want and create the opportunity to reach it. babies in the Mother Teresa Hospital that were just little skeletons, really. And, but if you spent a week there, they started getting some nutrition. It was miraculous changes. And can you imagine how many days together we can all give our whole sister? Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, keeping track of the little bite sticker that you found at your place today. <laughs> it says giving freedom on. And we've given each one of you this to be the inspiration. Because as you get home,
She founded her own non-for-profit organization to prevent hunger and malnutrition. I'm very excited to be here for my very first Inspire. Just needs to know you too. She needs to know your why. People want to help people. So let people help you and climb. There's no shame in going, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that was from India. <laughs> We're deep enough, yeah. Two, your why is often found by looking at your deepest pain and how you overcame that or are in the process of overcoming this speech. And one of the first things they'll say to me or if I have a new person, and we've all heard this new person, I just don't think I'm gonna do this anymore because I'm just not making any money from it. They work at Starfish Projects where they are able to experience freedom, establish independence, and develop properties. So we had women this year working in all levels of our business from able to cover the cost of 14 women going through the academy. And this year, I hope our contribution will be even greater. So, if you are one of the few people in this room who have not read Rebecca Bender's memoir, In Pursuit of Love, I highly recommend it. I just got out of the session. I went a little bit late. It was like 45 minutes over time, but it's worth it. Everything is so good. I had to pee so bad though, <laughs> find me going and going to warm up a little bit. It's really, really cold in there, but I didn't get to share everything. I took some clips, I'll show, but we deal with trafficking, so some stuff is sensitive and you can't put it out there, but I am going to go check out the Hope Shop and grab some lunch with my team leader. We were just kind of relaxing. Luke just got back from his lunch at Margaritaville at the city walk. They walked through with the Friends of Hope and everyone just wanted to go get changed, but I'm just wearing this. It's like the fashion show reveal this afternoon. So, how was your food? It was really good. It was really, it's really good to like meet with all the other husbands and stuff and uh, <clears throat> like we talk about like how our wives are doing, and like how we can help our wives and stuff. So it's like a, I don't know, it's a brotherhood. It is a brotherhood. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. order to be good stewards of, of our company and, and everyone that we that is, is involved in this company we have to order a little tighter right now absolutely not but we are in this for the long haul and uh, we will we will get back to those numbers and I know that we will get back to those numbers so please don't be depressed by the standard <laughs> We are going to 
have a printed lookbook for 2022. <laughs> They're doing something special for those ladies. We just rode across that busy road. No, it was not busy when we ran. We're going over to PJI Fridays, which is across the street from our hotel. Just got out of the session where they revealed all the jewelry and stuff, our new line. So I'll obviously show clips and I tried to stay pretty disciplined. I kept a budget buying some things, but I did go shopping. Okay, now I'm heading into my team meeting. I don't know if Luke was invited. He might just have to hang out, but let's see. So I just got done with my team meeting and it's late, like I'm tired, ready to go. And Luke was asking me, is it time to go? Like, are you done? So I come out here and he's literally playing card games with the other guys. Oops. Playing card games with the other guys. And now I'm like, oh, you were trying to leave? Look at them. All right, we're heading out for the night. First day of Inspire is complete. It's 10 o'clock. We are headed home. Luke keeps looking at rates for hotel here tonight. It's 130 tomorrow. for, yeah, tomorrow night because our event is supposed to go until 11 p.m. tomorrow night and it's like the fancy night. So it would be helpful to have a room so we could like change, but it's $130. We still can't decide if we're gonna do it. 
I don't know because then my team's having a meeting Sunday morning at 9 a.m. So it's gonna be really tough to do that. So we'll see, but he had a lot of fun. My team meeting was really sweet and it was just a really good time to connect with my, with my uh, director and team. And it was a really amazing day today. It's exactly what I needed and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm super tired. It's not accept accepting his ticket. How are we supposed to get out? How can we pay our ticket?